Hello everybody, how's it going? How's it going? It's almost midnight here on Friday and I just wanted to uh, touch base with you all. Actually now it's Saturday morning, it just turned midnight here in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, my name is Sean Hudspeth and I'm an artist here in Nashville. And I've been working on <clears throat> this painting of Marilyn Monroe um, for the, about the past six or seven hours. And I'm almost done with it, but I wanted to share it with you guys real quick. And um, I'll touch base with you and let you know how far it's gone and kind of finish it up here with you. Um, I, when I'm doing this, I can't really um, look at comments as much, but um, I'm almost done with the finishing touches of it as far as the outline. So <clears throat> if you'll bear with me, you can actually kind of watch it maybe come together a little bit. So I, a lot of people have just asked to see me, you know, do it live and in my process. and. And this one I'm actually kind of becoming a little attached to too. So it's, I wanted to share it with you guys and maybe you can kind of feel the energy of her as well like, like I'm kind of feeling. I need my glasses on really quick. Um, I'm hoping not to take too long because I know that it's late here and... Hey, bro, what's up Superstar? How you doing man? So good to see you. It's been a long time brother. Um, I was just letting everybody know that I'm finishing this painting of Marilyn. Um, I've been working on it most um, all afternoon and most of the evening. Thanks for the hearts there. But I'm going to turn um, the uh, phone around and kind of let you see the finishing touches. Um, I mean, so I'm going to show you the picture really fast again, just so you can kind of see the reference. This is the photograph. Um, cool beans. Yeah, that's the photograph that I'm using as the reference here. Hey, from another artist in Australia. Hey, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Great, great to have you here. Thanks for those hearts, you guys. Now, this painting is three feet by three feet. It's quite large. Hi, Bathhouse Betty. Hi, CM Punkler. Good to have you guys again. I was just letting everybody know that I'm finishing up this painting finally. I was going to show you this. How's it going? Thanks to Superstar. Thank you, thank you. Um, this is the, um, the photograph that I've, I've used. And she looked a little bit sad, and I tried to make her eyes look a little bit more like excited and happy. So that's not the painting. This is a photograph. You're going to see the painting in a couple seconds. Thank you. Yeah, the photograph is beautiful, but here comes the... Here comes the uh, the uh, painting. So this is how far I've gotten on her so far. And I'm, thank you guys. This is how you can see that's the picture. That's how big she is. So we're, I'm going to finish her up with you guys if you don't mind. Um, if you don't mind being here with me, you can kind of see. What I do is I use like circles where I think highlights as far as in her hair should be. So I don't have to commit to it and I photograph it a lot while, while using my phone. So. I photographed, I think, the final one that I need to get my, my uh, balance on her hair and everything. So I'm just going to finish it up with you guys. If you're patient, if you have a couple minutes, I'm hoping that it won't take too, too long. And I'm just glad that you're here with me. Thank you for those hearts. Y'all are so, so kind. Um, again, I wanted to make your eyes. You can see there's a lot of little squiggles, and I use a lot of pointillism. So it's just a lot of, of kind of movement there. There's really no <laughs> rhyme or reason. I just It kind of gives me a sense of, of balance as far as where I think. Um, it's her hair should end and where it should start and that kind of thing. So this is just kind of like my, my process. There's no way to, to explain it. It's just like my mind works. So um, if you give me one second, I'm going to put the phone in this um, wine glass over here <laughs> and kind of like let you guys visualize it with me. Okay, sorry about this. There, I think you guys can see pretty good that way maybe. Is that all right there? All right. Now, I won't be able to see all the comments, so just bear with me. Thank you for the looks great. I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to step right back and kind of finish her up and kind of let you see her kind of come together as um, we're here. So and I, I had started her earlier, but my, my phone battery kind of wore out, so I had to recharge it. Th yeah, thank you. So this is, um, I, I rarely ever get to do this because um, I have so many, um, I have to focus on the eyes and the, and the, and the um, you know, crazy uh, particulars of balance. So this is just my way of giving back to you guys and I'm glad you're here with me to share it with me, okay? So just give me one moment, we're gonna see how she comes together. I had to step back a lot because 
my perspective kind of goes crazy. So after every few little lines, I have to sit back to kind of see how she comes together. So again, just be patient, all right? Sorry about that. One second. Um, <clears throat> You gotta be careful because your hands can get paint on them and it'll get back on the canvas. So I've got to be, I usually wear little gloves, but it makes my hands sweat. And so it's kind of like, what's the, what's the benefit of that, you know? So it says, Sean, showing, showing us some man cleavage. And the, <laughs> well, this was actually, I have to have room to move. And there's like holes in the shirt and everything. I just, I wear rags when I'm painting, but I'm glad that you appreciate that it's the man cleavage. <laughs> It's so funny. Yeah, I just use this because I know I can throw these away if I ever need to. But I appreciate the support, I guess, and acknowledgement. It's so funny. You're hilarious. Okay. Now, a lot of times, because I've started up here on the top, I have to go on the bottom as well because it gives my eye balance. And if I'm not careful, her eyes can start looking different ways. And so I have to make sure that I balance over here. Yeah, Marilyn Monroe, yeah. On this side, then this side, and the top and the bottom. It's kind of like a compass because you don't want her eyes to get askew in literally one line. Even when I sign my, my signature on the painting, it has to be in the right spot because it can totally throw the whole painting off balance. Thank you for those hearts. Hi, Mark Butts. Welcome. Um, but this is, of course, I'll show you the a picture that we're looking at. This is what I'm using as the reference to paint. So, because I know it's, it's on the top up there that I'm looking at, but this gives you guys a little bit closer of a reference. Thanks for those hearts. You guys are so sweet. I so appreciate that. And again, you guys know I rarely ever do this. I have a half arm tattoo. Oh, do, you know what? Look at this. One of my paintings I have of her too. They, my one of my dear friends wanted one for his birthday of one of my paintings. So we got bro tats. So I love that you have a tattoo too. That's so awesome. There's Marilyn. That's my signature right there. And this one's called Marilyn Blue. The whole painting was actually blue, but I didn't want it to look. I had a bruise on my arm, so we just put blue on the eyeshadow there. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. I love Marilyn too. She's probably, she, Janet Jackson, of course, Farrah Fawcett, my number one, are my three, they are like muses, I guess you'd say, as far as the lovely women. And then now, as if you guys were here earlier today, Miss Bridget Bardot, you know, has kind of like warmed my heart too, so I might have to keep her. But anyway, I'm going to hurry. I don't want to take up all your time. Thanks for those hearts. I love you guys. Be right back.
Another thing I've learned recently is that when I was younger, it was so important to me to make it look like exactly like the paint, the photograph, because that's what people base your success as an artist on. And I'm like, you know what? No, now I'm so relaxed within myself. It's actually my expression of the photograph. So it doesn't have to be this, you know, um, carbon copy or, or exact replica of, as long as you can recognize her and you can feel the energy behind her. That's how I can, you know, add my own spin to it and add my contribution to her and the image. So I had to learn that the hard way and, you know, try to re realize, oh my goodness, I miss, oh yeah, this is what I do for a living. Full time I paint. Um, and this is a three foot by three foot, but I do portraits of, you know, and I do abstracts and, you know, florals and all this kind of stuff too. I do a lot of black and white portraits. I don't usually use a lot of black and white in my other paintings because I'm, everything else is so colorful. Um, thank you so much for the love of that. But uh, these, this was actually going to go into a business here in Nashville. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to let it go. So anyway, having you guys here with me is kind of helping my heart a little bit. Because when I finally finished her eyes, and this is the, one of the photographs that I'm using as the reference. When I finished her eyes, I was like, I love her vulnerability. She was such a powerful and beautiful woman. But her vulnerability made her even more beautiful, you know. Um, and I wanted to capture that with also the strength behind it, too and the starlight in her eyes from Hollywood, you know, that kind of thing. So, again, I apologize for delaying this. I'll get back to it. But I just want to let you know that I've, I've been able to relax and not having to make it look exactly like the photo and just make it look like my version of it. So um, it helped me, you know, not have to worry about opinions and about, you know, like teachers, even my instructors in college, they were like, relax, just express it. And I'm like, but I missed, you know, like an eyelash or a certain, you know, like, yeah, please do. Yeah, my website is on this, on this scope, as well as, um, you know, my Twitter handle, everything. So just contact me, Kim, I appreciate it. It'd be, I'd love to do it for you. I do every size from little ones, literally this size here to, you know, it's bigger than this even. So, but I'll get back to it one second. It kind of gives me expression, a freedom of expression too, just to kind of like, that's why I use a lot of just shapes, you know, like I do a lot of pointillism. I don't do pointillism, like I don't do portraits out of pointillism where it's all da 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 da. I just use every aspect that my personality comes through in here. There's dots here, there's squiggles there, there's, you know, I'm not really good at the straight line thing, so I guess I have to have forgiveness in certain areas, so that's how I work with it. But anyway, oops. Let me do this part here and I can close this up. <sighs> Again, having you guys here is exciting, but it's also a little, little stressful because I don't want you to get bored and left out in the cold while I'm doing this. But I also can't take a lot of time away from it because, you know, one wrong line can throw everything off as far as how she's supposed to look in my mind. So. And usually I'm photographing this with the phone so I can step back and get a different perspective of it. And since I'm here with you all, I'm having to do this visually and just by faith. So, again, thank you for the hearts and thanks for the support. We're good. Don't worry, Sean. We're we'll enjoy watching artists at work. Oh, yeah. Thank you, guys. That means the world. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. And the cool thing is, these are just these lines are kind of like ideas for perspective. I'm not a, I'm not a good sketcher, so I don't really sketch it out. I just kind of like have perspective angles. So these are to give me perspective, and I can kind of create the emotion and energy behind it by having these as references. Um, but it's easier to paint over a tiny dot than it would be to have a whole line of paint. So that's kind of what I've learned in my experience. Um, okay, so. Yeah, yeah, it's coming together. I'm feeling better. Thank you guys again for being here. These earrings, they're going to be a semblance of earrings. They don't have to be exactly because Photographs only capture so much of the uh, 
of the image, so I'm having to kind of design them on my own. <laughs> That's all right, right? And carpal tunnel sets in after a while too, so you gotta be careful with that. <laughs> um, hopefully you guys can see from your angle the shape of her taking, that she's taking, and that it's resonating with you. I hope so. Um, again, I'm having to do this by faith because I'm not able to photograph it as I'm painting it right now. Let's look. Sam so is doing dot, 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 dot. So it's giving me, a f I'm filling it in with a dot versus having to color it all in in case I don't like it there, so. Okay, let me, let me do this side here and just see if this works. I can always add more in if needed. But I'm kind of a minimalist with portraits because the uh, person that's actually looking at it, they have more of an imagination than a lot of artists give people credit. <laughs> a lot of times artists feel like they have to prove themselves by going over and, be, and above and beyond. And I'm like, come on, man. I'm like, make it interesting, not so... I don't want it to look photographic because that's what photographers are able to do. I want mine to stand out in a different way where I can just give you the semblance of and make your imagination and your eye get more excited by what it can fill in instead of me having to fill in for it, if that makes any sense to you guys. What are you guys thinking? Looking okay? Think, look at those hearts. Love it. Thank you. So you can see her coming together, right? All right. Excellent. I love, look at all those beautiful colors. Thank you, guys. We're almost at the finish line, so it's not too much further away. Put some more over here. And the crazy thing is, like, just for instance, like this line right here, if I put one further out, it'll make her pupil look like it's going to look this way. So I have to stop, honestly, right there because it, if I add anything more, just one more dot, it's going to make her look in a different way. And people don't understand that when it comes to eyes. It's, it's nuts because it's all about reflection and about light hitting it and that kind of thing. So I'm having to be really, really cautious because right now I don't want to be photographing it. So I'm having to notice this from, thank you so much. I appreciate what the, hey, good to see you again. Thanks for being here. Um, I do a little bit darker in here. A little bit more to make her balance. Okay, we'll do this area. As you can see, I get paint on my hands here, so I've got to be really careful. Like that right there can get on. Touching a white canvas 
it can totally ruin the whole thing. And it's like, ah! So I've got to always hold my hand away from it. some more up in here. All right, all right. Coming together, yeah? Thanks for those hearts, I appreciate that you guys. I know it's been a little bit of a uh, time consuming thing, <laughs> but just uh, thanks for the hearts. I appreciate to see that you're all still here with me. So we're literally at the last legs before this final, final little touches. Thank you guys, that's so sweet of y'all. Hopefully you're appreciating how she's looking. Again, here's the photograph that I'm using as a reference. Thank you so, so much. Um, can you see? Mm, let me see.
a lot of squiggles, it's a lot of takes sometimes just to make it work. <laughs> um, maybe a little bit more in here. You guys are literally in my eyes right now, so thank you again for being here. Um, I'm able to see the painting through the phone right now, and I'm able to get a different... Yeah, man, it's making me happy to see it like that. To make it a little bit more over here, tiny bit more. Tiny bit more. Thanks for those hearts. Y'all are so supportive and sweet. Thank you. Okay, I'm on the very, very end, right this area right here. And I think we're going to be almost at the finish line. Hi, Falco Fo. Thanks for being here. Thanks for those hearts, you guys. Y'all are so awesome. Thank you. Maybe a little bit more. I'm just going to check on the highlights in her hair real fast before I commit to this last bit. And again, the highlights are simply the circles. I just put circles where I think the light would hit it. This music is so dramatic. It's kind of perfect, isn't it? <laughs> mm, this needs to be smoothed out a little bit. Oh. 
And you can see me having to step back a lot. It's kind of like a dance with the painting. You're like stepping back and having to get different perspectives on it. It literally is a dance. <laughs> That's why I can't have a lot of things blocking me in this area. But um, I think we're almost, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna commit to this now. I'm gonna, again, you see the paint here. <laughs> I'm going to commit to this, and we're going to say we're finished in a couple seconds. So, what the haze back? How you doing, sir? Good to see you. Or it might be ma'am. Either way, I know it's a flag, which I love. <laughs> um, so, we're going to commit to it, and we're going to go with it, you guys. Okay, let's look. Uh, let me make this a little bit more. Again, the dots are as re are references for me, but sometimes they need to be a little bit more filled in to give it warmth. See the difference? Just those little bitty marks made there. Ten makes sense. Ten one. Thank you so, so much, Beth. How's Betty? So you like her. Okay, let me show you something. Thank you so, so much as far as signing it, okay? Thank you, what the hey. Thank you. I, I'm literally, I might have a, hi, AC Josh. I didn't know you were in here. Good to see you, brother. My first time seeing your scopes. I'm in awe. Thank you so, so much, Kim. I'll follow you. Definitely follow me if you, if you care to. I'll follow you back if I'm not already. Thank you. Now, I'm going to show you something with, I can use this top of the uh, of the paint <clears throat> cap and show you where I'm going to have to put my signature because well, welcome Tammy, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, it's so crazy because this is going to be something black, right? Thank you, AC Josh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I was about to start it after I finished Bridgie, so I've been working on her about seven hours now, um, and I was even working on her during the art scope battles. AC Josh and Tatiana were, were doing their wonderful works of art with Trixie and, you know, others. <laughs> so um, watch how her eyes change by me putting this dark spot. Like if I was going to sign it over here, look at how her eyes have a different perspective. If I was even going to sign it here, think about my signature right there. It does have a little more warmth there, but I think it's going to be perfect here because it makes her eyes go up and it gives a balance to all of this and it makes this kind of, it makes this go with this. People don't understand that the signature is just as important because it can make or break. Yeah, I've been working hard. <laughs> um, but it can make or break the whole painting where you sign it, you know. And since I just have a symbol, it's literally like a, you know, it's a, it's my initials. It's SMH, but it's crazy um, because I think it's great like this, but having my signature right there makes her complete still and it makes, honestly, the line of her her hair sign up for there. This is a really cool spot too, but I don't, uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, I'm worried about this one eye and the hair. So that's a, let me look back. I have to sit back here. 
No, it has to be on the end. It has to be over here on the corner. So I'm going to sign it in front of you guys, and so it's going to be kind of finalized. I might later on go back and touch up a few more of the dots to make it more enhanced, but you guys get to see me sign it. This was the picture that I used as the reference. Yeah, the far corner is where we're going to do it. That's where it kind of has to be. That's the picture as the reference. I did put my own spin on it and make her eyes a little bit brighter um, and her hair a little bit more different, you know. But this is the one that I think could go in any, anyone's home, in any business, and any, you know, over a fireplace. It could go in a bar. It could go anywhere. So, you know, an office. But uh, I'm going to sign it while you guys are here with me, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Got to change brushes. And just so you know, these brushes are like little sponge brushes like this. So you, I, they all come in like smaller and then even like a little bit bigger than this, I think. But they're sponge, brush, sponge brushes that refill as, um, as you compress down. See, there's paint here on the thing. But this is an oil enamel, so it dries rather quickly, but it's shiny, kind of like a nail polish would be. Um, but it's also kind of waterproof, too. See, that's already almost dry. Look at that. It's barely moving now. Um, but uh, it gives it a three-dimensional effect where the acrylic is more of a flat color, the white is, um, and the black gives it more of a shiny. So if I wanted to put a glaze on top of it to make it all cohesive, I could do that too. But I've gotten to a point now where putting a glaze on it, if I get a single hair in there, it could be in the glaze forever. So I'm like, let's let it go, you know. But anyway, I'm going to sign this. I just changed the brush real fast. I'll be right back. How many paint markers do you go through? Oh, my gosh. I mean, I have to have to buy them in bulk. I mean, I really do. And they're really expensive. They're like six dollars. This one's like six bucks, and you know, so, and that's just to have this one size brush. So, um, I have them from the really, really small ones. She took about seven and a half to eight hours. She did, um, and again, that's why I need to take kind of a break, as my arm is getting really, um, I'm double jointed, as you can see here, and my, my joints get a little tight. But anyway, I'll, I'll be almost done. One second. Okay, here we go, you guys. Thanks for being here with me. We're going to sign her. Let's see. Think about that. Do you think it adds a, the perfect balance to her eyes there? Look at those hearts. Thank you. I'm going to do a couple more touch-ups on the white really, really quickly, and then I'll come back. Thank you. Mwah. I appreciate that. Um, just a couple of touch-ups on the white. This is um, the white gesso, the acrylic. The couple little spots I want to make sure that my fingers or my... my uh, hand touched it, I want to make sure that I don't let any of that stay there.
Just a few little touch-ups here to make it more impactful. Okay. Whew. So now I'm going to take you a little closer so you can kind of see how she looks um, a close-up view. Uh, wow, it looks really fun in the phone. It makes me happy. And I'm afraid my phone's not going to have a lot of battery left, so I'm going to make this quickly. So give me one second, you guys. Okay. So here she is, you guys. Oh man, I'm very pleased with the intensity from this far back. Thank you, Jennifer. Thanks so, so much. We're looking at it the first time together, and I'm looking at it through a different pair of eyes through the phone, which is what I'm used to always looking at. I'm used to, I usually photograph it. Thank you, Josh, so much. I usually photograph it as I'm painting to give me perspective, and I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, so um, I'm, this is, I'm able to see, you can see up close how it's a lot of dots, a lot of pointillism, a lot of um, just a little, uh, oh, I think it may have gone off. I think my phone catches talking about it, so I think it may, my phone may be dying really soon. <laughs> You're in love. Thank you so much. That makes me so happy. Um, there we go. So, and there's the photograph again that I used as a reference. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. And I, I love how, I did, even by accident, <clears throat> the S in my name almost finishes her shoulder. It kind of like gives it a balance where it stops. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to make sure that, <clears throat> um, that I have <clears throat> most of these all set up. Um, I may have to get rid of her by tomorrow afternoon if I'm going to get attached to it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And Josh, if you're still in here, I don't know if I, you got to see the one of Bridget Bardot that I had scoped earlier today that I became attached to that I had I said I was going to keep. I'll show it to you really quickly um, so you can kind of see. This one was going to go in a business and I painted Marilyn to take her place. This one of Bridget. I don't know if you see that one. And I'm like, you know what? I got to keep this one because when I walk in the room, she just she's so dramatic. She makes me so happy. Um, yeah, right? <laughs> and so I was like, I can't get rid of this. <laughs> And th y'all are so supportive and so kind. Thank you so, so much. Um, yeah, there's a, this is the one that I scoped today and I was like, I think I made a mistake. And they're like, what was the mistake? I'm like, I got attached to it and I can't let it go. <laughs> so yeah, she's the same size as Marilyn is. But from a distance, I mean, just the impact that she makes. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's, that's the mannequin is of course life size. You can see. Yeah, the drama. It's such a, you know, and I know you all have seen my Farrah Fawcett one. Uh, she's the same size as Farrah and Marilyn. But sometimes, you know, if you're going to make a change in your house, you always want to make it for the better. <laughs> I psychic delight. And so, yeah, thank you. And she's a lot of pointillism, too. You can see there just a lot of dots and a lot of squiggles and a lot of, uh, you know, movement there. 
How's it going, Psychic Delight? This size is the three by three, the three feet by three feet. These are like six or six fifty. If I add color to it, it's around six fifty. But these are six hundred, um, just black and white. So um, that's uh, you know a very you can see how much effort has gone into it. So and it's something that really makes a statement piece. So it's a small price to pay for something, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm I'm definitely pretty attached. So thank you, Psychic Delight. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, I was painting Marilyn Monroe, and I just finished her. Yeah, I like the black and white, too. Um, like, I've done some colored ones, which they add a lot of fun. And I can show you those in a couple seconds. Thanks so much, Tammy. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to make sure I'm following you, too, while we're here. Because um, the support. I love following supportive people and giving support back to them. So we're following. There you go. Thank you, Psychic Delight. Thank you so much. Um, I just finished, I'll show you some of the ones with color. I just finished um, this one of Marilyn. Let me see. Thank you. So, oh, so the fonts, I can show him, sure will. This was the uh, photograph that I used as the reference. And that's how she turned out. And you can see up close, she said, don't be bossy. <laughs> he said, <"Yes." laughs> You're hilarious. Don't be bossy. You can be bossy if it's about showing beauty. Yeah, do it. Do it. That's so hilarious. Josh, you never stop. You make me laugh, man. He's so awesome. Adds so much joy to all of our lives, doesn't he? We'll, we, can, we can give Josh... I wish. Well, you know, I can go on one of your scopes. You can show it to me on that. Or you can actually DM me on Twitter and show it to me with the picture there. She, want, she wanted me to show you the Fonzie one. Um, I'll show you really quickly in here. Of course, I have tons of mannequins in my house, as you all know, but here's the one of the fonts. And I also have a YouTube channel, so a lot of times now I've been uploading these, these scopes to YouTube so I can have them as references and anybody can kind of catch them a little later. Yeah, isn't that fun? I want my mom to see him. Shut it, Josh. <laughs> well, yeah, Bathhouse Betty, if you go on my YouTube channel, which is Sean Esbeth, the one I did of, uh, earlier with Bridget Bardot, which has got him on there too, He's actually the uh, the screenshot they used on YouTube. That's oh, shadow there. Sorry. Whoops. Um, yeah, this has got the the glaze on it, but you can see his jacket there. Um, but see, if I put like my signature over here, it would have made his eyes look over on this area, and so it's all about I hid it in his jacket. So, thanks, mom. Said like, oh, cool. She's there with you. Great. Thank you so much. Like a secret reveal. Well, I painted Marilyn in person. Wasn't that a secret reveal? Okay. <laughs> you're hilarious. I know what you're getting at. When Bridget Bardot was a secret reveal too. You hadn't seen her. I showed her earlier today, unless you were on the scope. Secret reveals are what they are. They're secret reveals. So you got to be patient, Josh. Well, you know, I love that he's always wanting more. <laughs> That's the way of the world. And then it's like, okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? I'm like... Dude, you know, it's a buffet. <laughs> Thank you so much, Matt. I appreciate that. That's so kind of you. I so appreciate that. I'm going <clears> to <throat> um, scope back and show you the Maryland Road real fast because my phone is probably about to die. I can't thank you guys enough for the support, the hearts, the encouragement. I was going to show you the color ones real fast. Here's the Maryland Road we, that we just all finished together. And you can see there's a lot of dots, a lot of dots here and there. But it's about not having to commit and knowing that, thank you for being here, my friend. Thank you so, so much. You are so sweet. Oh my gosh. Y'all are too kind. You're going to make my heart full. Um, but I'll show you um, the uh, ones with the color. I think one of you all were asking something about color. <clears throat> this is um, like one of Al Pacino with the color. Come on, don't be blurry. Thank you so much. And there's Wonder Woman. Here's one of Marilyn Monroe that's color, a different one. And I don't ever replicate, like if I do a different one of, every one that I do is gonna be a different pose or you know, a different type of a, a angle so that each one is an original. So there's one of Superman here. Here's Miss Farrah Fawcett, another one from the poster, Audrey Hepburn. So these are some ideas to show you and also do like, here's some floral work, um, paintings with the flowers. Um, and then there's, Thank you so much. Yes, Wonder Woman. Yeah, she's on display at a place here in Nashville at a restaurant. Here's um, one called Savor the Journey. I actually have two Madonna paintings. I've got um, 
two big ones. Um, one, I can, I can actually touch them to the pictures. Elvis is your man. Awesome. Yeah, I've got two that are on display here in town. In fact, I've got one that's a six by six even, which I actually have three then. So, I'll, Mike, I will actually um, private message you on Twitter, um, <clears throat> Matt9333. I'll um, message you on Twitter the Madonna ones that are on display. And they're 24 by 24. They're the same size as Fonzie. And I have a summer sale going on. Those are normally 300. They're 300 if they're already painted. They're 350 if they're commissioned. But I'm selling them now for 250 because um, I've got other shows that are coming up and it's given me inspiration to want to, you know, just make room for different ones. So, yeah, I'll show you the Madonna ones. You should do Tony Curtis when he was in some Like It Hot. If you want a Tony Curtis, you let me know. I'll be glad to paint him for you, dear. Glad to paint him for you. Socket Delight is back. Okay, but um, again, my battery's about to like shut down, so I can see it's getting blurry. So I wanted to show you one last look at Miss Marilyn here. Um, and thank you all so much for being here with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means the world. Again, it's my pleasure. High hopes. Oh, I didn't know you were in here too. Yay! Great to see you. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. You have a great night as well. I, you guys are wonderful. And again, thank you for the, the support, the encouragement. Let me turn it back around. It means the world to have, look at my hair falling down, y'all. <laughs> oh, that's why there's a paintbrush in it. Um, it means the world to have you guys, you know, here and supportive. And I just, I'm really grateful for it. So she is three feet by three feet. She's 36 by 36. So you can see my, I'm not even near her. I'm way, I see him now. Now I'm next to her. So look at how big her face is. So this is my face <laughs> and that's her face. So it just shows you the perspective. Um, of how large. Let me go a bit further. There she goes. I love having her look at me. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Beautiful Marilyn. Y'all, thank you again. This is this will be one that I'll never forget because y'all were here with me. And I appreciate it so, so much, okay? Have a fantastic evening. Did she wink? Okay, I'm going to take your word for it because that's that would make my heart really happy. <laughs> but you guys have a fantastic night. God bless each of you. Um, stay encouraged. Be inspired, as Josh would say, be awesome. And thanks so, so much. And again, you can Twitter me, private message me, direct message me if you want any. I'll be glad to do them for you. I can send you, by, by Psychic Delight, I can send you like a size reference with a little price list, that kind of thing to make it easy. Because I have a different price list for my friends and my Periscope friends than I do from just the regular public. So that's what relationships are all about. You guys are like my family and friends. So you know you get a, a better deal than most. But again, thanks for the support. God bless each of you. Much, much, much love, okay? Take care, you guys. Hugs to you, too.